Welcome to this tutorial. In last video, we learned about installing Python, different ways to execute Python program, and installing and working with Jupyter Notebook. Further in this part of series, we'll start with Python programming, by writing basic hello world program. Then we'll learn about data types, and operators in Python. In next part, we'll learn about conditional statements, if, else, ill if statements. From there we'll go on functions, how to define and call functions. Then we'll learn about different loops present in Python, for loop, while loop. Then in upcoming videos, we'll take a look at some important data types more closely. Let's start with second part of the series, where, we'll write most basic Python program, that is print hello world. To do this, we'll use print, which is an inbuilt function. It takes objects which we want to print as parameter. We'll pass hello world string, and execute the statement. To print one or more object at a time, we pass multiple objects as parameter, separate by commas. Print method will add single space, between each object and print them. We can pass value of set parameter, to set separator, which will be printed between objects which we print. Default value of sep is single space, so in previous statement it adds space between hello world and 3. Notice double dash is printed between hello world and my name. Also notice that each print statement will change line after printing is over. If acts similar to print ln function in Java. To control this behavior, we'll add one more parameter, named end. If we don't pass its value, it takes value of slash n, which is new line character, so it changes line. We'll pass blank string in end parameter, which will cause blank string to get printed at the end, and so, line will not change. String passed in end parameter will be printed after end of each print statement. In Python, to get information about any function, we'll use inbuilt function help help, pass in the object for which we want to get information. Let's pass print in help function. It will show information about print function. You can see all the parameters it print takes. Print takes comma separate parameters, and two default parameters, sep and end, whose default value is space and slash n respectively. It also takes two more parameters, file and flush, but currently we will not use it. You can see their information below. Now. Let's look at some data types available in Python. First is integer, which is number without floating point. Then, float, which is number with floating point. Next is complex number, which consists of real and imaginary component. Then comes bool, which takes two values true and false. Next is str, which means string. List is really useful, it is group of objects. Next we have tuple, which same as list, but immutable, that means we can't change individual elements. Dictionary is really powerful data type present in Python, it is collection of key and value pairs. Then comes set, it is collection of unique elements, it can be used to find unique elements from any sequence. Let's see some examples. Here we have three variable, a, b, and c. Where, a is an integer. b is a float. c is complex number. Notice we use j with imaginary part. Then we print all three variable and execute the code. Also notice how complex number is printed. Then we have d as boolean, whose value is true. e as a string. f as a list. Unlike arrays in C language, here list can have elements with different data type, notice we have string with integers. Then we have g which is tuple. Now, let's print all four and see what we get. Notice we can print list directly, by passing it into print function, unlike C language. Then we have variable v, which stores a dictionary. Dictionary should have immutable data type as its key, here keys are a, b, c, and d, their corresponding values can be assigned using colon. Values can be of any data type. Then we have set, which takes unique elements only, notice we have passed duplicate elements in set, let's see what we get as output. See, dictionary is printed as it is, but set is not. 
In set, our duplicate elements were removed, and all unique elements are only present. In Python, it's not necessary to specify data types during defining variables, so it becomes really easy to program, as any variable can take any type of value. But this can cause bugs in our program, as variables data type can change, without the knowledge of programmer, so it can be useful to check a variable's data type. To check the data type of any object, pass that object into built-in function named, type. Notice, we checked data type of three variable A, B, C and we found out it was int, float and compels respectively. Which was what we expected.